Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Average Joe 3 d I am your host, Fergie. Today we're going back to the 1mm nozzle. Now I haven't used that in about a year. I had a whole phase where I tried to do a bunch of things in 1mm and it worked out well except the tops, the flats. As you can see, this is 1mm. This is in vase mode and the sides look amazing. If you have a big flat spot, that's where you're going to notice that it's a one millimeter nozzle because every line will be one millimeter thick with the space in between them. So the top part won't be very pretty at all. You have to fill it in with something in order and sand it down to make it good. But the sides are amazing. And because it's one millimeter, that means it's two and a half times thicker than a 0.4 nozzle. And it's a lot quicker. So originally I had this going at, um, I think it was like seven to 10 hours. With this, it's only going to go uh, just a couple hours. Now, let me go ahead and show you what the difference is between this and another piece that I printed. Here we go. So I have another piece printed. This is for an Iron Man suit, full size Iron Man suit. The first thing you notice is it's a little bit thinner because there's two parameters and a little bit of infill. So this feels the same this way, but I don't think it's as strong as a one millimeter nozzle at all. So let's go ahead and take a look at Simplify 3D. So this is a part in Simplify 3D. I did have this commission, so somebody made this for me. It's gonna be a Punisher version of War Machine. And like a lot of things that are commissioned, they don't print them out before they send it to you so you know that it's 100% printable. And so this was not. All along this edge right here, there are gaps where layers can extend all the way out to the end. Uh, there were gap lines here where it just didn't layer up right. Now what I used to fix that is 3D Builder from Windows. Windows 10 has a program called 3D Builder when you import this in, the first thing it will tell you is, hey, this isn't a very good file. Do you want me to fix it? If you say yes, it will automatically fix any holes, any layer options, any triangles that are reversed or corrupted. And then you can export it as an STL and it should print out perfectly. Now, this is going to be printed in vase mode with no um, supports. So it's going to take a look at the settings. Now, when you're setting up a um, printer with a one millimeter nozzle, you're going to have to lower the bed a little bit, put the nozzle on, and then level your bed for the 3D um, one millimeter nozzle. And you're going to have to go into settings. So I'm sure this is what you guys have been waiting for. Settings. Let's go ahead and take a look. They all happen right here. Nozzle diameter was changed from 0.4 to 1. Extrusion width was changed from 0.4 to 1. My extrusion multiplier was 0.93. I up that to 1 just to make sure that um, it's putting on, out enough plastic for the nozzle. So these are very subtle changes. Nothing big. These are the only changes I made. I did go to layers and tell it I only wanted one layer. Oops, that wasn't very good. There we go. One layer, uh, three top, three bottoms, just to make sure it's strong enough. And then they did put it in spiral or vase mode here. That's it. That's the only thing I changed. The temperatures are the same. Everything else is identical to a 0.4 nozzle. And as you can see, it's printing out great. Take a look at the layer lines on that. Let me bring it right here. There doesn't have to be a lot of cleanup because although it's one millimeter wide, I told it to print at 0.2, so it's only 0.2 high. No matter how big your nozzle is, if you have a long vertical, it's still going to be the same quality as um, a 0.4, maybe even a little bit better because it is a thicker nozzle putting out more plastic. There may be a little bit less layers uh, than you would have with a 0.4 nozzle. 
So that's the incredible thing about a one millimeter nozzle is even though it's going to be one millimeter wide, it's only going to be 0.2 millimeters tall. Go back to layers. There you go. So unless you have a lot on the top flat, all the sides are going to be pretty much perfect. So that's the way I'm going to try to print this whole suit because, because it does cut the time way, way down. I'm just going to take a look at this. This is 132 millimeters tall and it's going to take just four hours and 52 minutes, five hours. So I've cut the printing time almost in half. I think I've cut about 40% of the printing time out of it. It's going to make it much more manageable to print this out. So that's printing with a one millimeter nozzle in vase mode to do a full Iron Man suit. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you have a great day.